that's phenomenal. Uh, the dam that has been redone several times through the year right. because the rocks do come out of there. Yeah. But there is a construction division with the Department of Parks that has created those. And the mill is a water turbine, so right. there is an area there that does open up the gate and allow the water to come in there. So we can actually drain the water pretty down. Oh. And when we grind corn, it does take that water. It's it's wonderful, though. I mean, just the scenic view of it is so beautiful. You can pass by it and just see the water, especially when the water's up high. You know, it's just wonderful. Well, it is a very iconic place for all of Laurel County, particularly because uh, they have it on a lot of their uh, publishing material. A right. lot of people have come through, taken photographs of it, and sent us magazines. However, we would ask that you have permission to use it in commercials or right. anything public like that. Yeah, that's understandable. If you're just taking photographs for yourself, painting, drawings, no problem. But usually if you're wanting to take photos and use it commercially, we we have a copyright on that and we do ask that they get permission to do that. What's an estimation of how old that mill is? It has to be over 100 years old. Uh, that one is, came from North Carolina, uh, the Margs Mill. The workings of it did, however, the building can be reconstructed at every, right. any point when you go along the river, but the belt, the leather belt, the hoppers, a lot of those were brought on the wagons across. Mm -hmm. You know, actually, I don't know the actual year of that, but the Mahargs family does have a reunion in the park right. uh, annually, and of course, that's... They're very proud to say, you know, that's part of their family. <laughs> and, and, you know, a lot of people don't realize this. The stones that are going around in the walkway, uh, you know, that's grinding stones. A lot of people don't realize that. And they think, well, that's just some round rocks. No, oh. it's grinding stones. It certainly is. We have the world's largest display of millstones. Right. Uh, some of those we cannot use in there, the cone-shaped millstones. But we do the others. We have hired... A uh, certain gentleman to come down and sharpen the stones. Right. So he would sit down with a little chisel and sharpen the stones. Oh. Um, they have been over the years, sometimes people would push him over into the water, throw them off the bridge. Oh my so, goodness. again, there are problems with anything, but they're there for your enjoyment at the top. You took the words out of my mouth again enjoyment. Mm -hmm. The pleasures of life, you know, simple pleasures. You know, if you're having a stressful day, just getting off work, go to the park and sit a little while. Right. Um, and it relaxes you. This spring is always one of your favorite, too. Of course, the fall, but in the spring, they have planted the red buds as being a part of the red bud trail. Oh, yeah. So the red buds, the dogwoods, that's going to be a beautiful time to drive through the park. Oh, I love it. we got about uh, four minutes left in the program today. I'm so thankful for Carol uh, coming to be with us. She is the Acton Park Manager for Levi Jackson State Park right up here in London, <laughs> right in her hometown. This is true. <laughs> and you have the opportunity to go to the park anytime, uh, free of charge. Don't take that for granted. And most of all, respect the park. Respect it mm -hmm. and pick up your garbage. And don't vandalize, don't mess up nothing. Just enjoy it for what it is. Jonathan, I appreciate all that effort there <laughs> very much, and so will our maintenance staff. And do come see us if you're right. interested in helping out or want to work at the park. Not saying we can hire everyone, but we last year we had people left, and we had to go seeking people to hire. So, mm -hmm. so when just does, give us a shot. When does the pool open up? It will open up Memorial Weekend. I, I was getting mm -hmm. ready to say that, probably in Memorial Weekend. So you can go and splish and splash, and the kids can come and just have a great time. And we want to encourage you, visit Levi Jackson Park and mm -hmm. support them. And, you know, take care of what, what we've been blessed with right here in Kentucky. Sometimes I think our folks out of state will sometimes take care of it more so than our locals right, do. Right. I think they forget about the park, but uh, a lot of people tell us, you know, you have a beautiful park, and sometimes those nearby don't appreciate it as well as people out of state. <laughs> That's the truth. But once again, we want to give out the number, 606-330-2130. If you're interested in, in maybe getting a job at the park, call her up and, and she'll get you the proper mm -hmm. paperwork, applications, whatever. And, you know, do your part. <laughs> and she, they'll greatly appreciate it. Especially with this government uh, economy the way it is, we definitely need everybody's help. Volunteers are accepted. All right. Until next week, this has been the Local and Community Issues and Answers right here on WBTN and Gospel Television.